good night at uh, Double Island Point last night. Wasn't too much for all getting in there. And this morning we're uh, off to the Wide Bay Bar. The wind's still up a bit, so it's probably going to be a little bit of a gnarly crossing, but uh, we should be all right, I think. And uh, the tide's right. The tide's running in now. By the time we get there, it'll be uh, over halfway through the tide, so it should be good. And uh, we'll get into the Sandy Strait. Then we're going to make up our mind whether we go up to Tin Can. I've got some friends up there. I'll give them a ring later on and uh, see if they're around. If they are, we'll probably go up to Tin Can. Otherwise, we might head up to Gary's. Bit of wind coming Wednesday, so we've got a couple of days to muck around before it really blows. Crossing White Bay Bar always puts a little bit of fear in uh, a lot of people. It's going to be a bit of a gnarly one today. There's quite a bit of wind up. Uh, we've got the tide right. The tide's flowing in now. It's running in till about uh, 11.45, I think. So we'll be there in a good state of the tide. You've got to get that right. Um, and we're just going to have a look at it now. There's no uh, leads in across the bar, no visual ones that you can see, the only way you can do Wide Bay Bar is to use the uh, virtual um, boys that they put on there on AIS. So uh, if you've got AIS, you can pick up the virtual boys and that's a bit like going into a marked channel. Uh, if you haven't got AIS, you can get the Latin longs of those virtual boys from Coast Guard tin, tin Can Bay, so you can plot them on your plotter um, and use them to steer across the bar. There used to be some visual leads on here, but they were really hard to see most of the time anyway. Uh, there is a bit of a visual one once you get off the dog leg, but that's pretty hard to see as well, and you are really better off going by the waypoints that um, Coast Guard Tin Can Bay supply or the virtual ones that'll be on your chart if you've got AIS. When you're looking at the um, virtual ones on AIS, they'll come up as green diamonds, but that doesn't mean that it's a green marker. You've got to hover up with your cursor over the top of those diamonds and see whether it's a port or starboard mark. Um, so yeah, that's the way we're going to do it. It could be a bit interesting because of the uh, sea state here, but for us it'll be good to get in and uh, be in some calm water again. I've got some friends at uh, Tin Can Bay, I just rang them this morning, they're home, so we're gonna go up to Tin Can and spend a day up there before we travel further up the Sandy Strait. But um, let's get across the uh, Wide Bay Bar. Preparing for it, this morning before we even left uh, Double Island Point, I got down the engine rooms and checked the motors. I'll have a look in there uh, before we actually cross it, make sure everything's uh, hunky-dory. And, um, the other thing we'll do, we'll stow the sail. I'm not going to muck around with sails while I'm crossing the bar. So I'll have every, everything uh, set up so that we can just concentrate on crossing the bar. Anyway, we've got about another oh, 50 odd minutes before we get to the first virtual marks. Looks like we're not going to be first across this morning. We've got uh, someone going in before us. A couple of dolphins out here too. Coast Guard Tin Can Bay, Coast Guard Tin Can Bay. This is Peggy Ann, Peggy Ann, 80. Peggy Ann, Coast Guard Tin Can Bay, go ahead. Yeah, Coast Guard Tin Can Bay, this is Peggy Ann. And uh, thanks for those coordinates, got them. Uh, we're just at waypoint one now, uh, just about ready to turn in and uh, hit, it, hit in a crossover. Copy that, Peggy Ann. Let me know when you're safely inside, please. Coast Guard out. Thanks, Coast Guard. We'll give you a call. Big end, standing by 80. Just noticed that uh, when you get closer, the port laterals do come up. So uh, you can see that's flashing red. So um, that's something I didn't know. So 
We're on the first leg now. Starboard lateral, port, port lateral. They all flash red when you're on them. So we're at uh, waypoint one. That was pretty not exciting. But now we're going to head to waypoint two. So I'm just going to come round to uh, the port side. Get a return to port, and we're heading now for Inskip Point. It can be a little bit uncomfortable in this stretch when you're mid-side onto the swell, so... You can see I've plotted another course in now, we're at waypoint 1, and I've plotted a course in for waypoint 2, so we're going to head down that line. The thing about Wide Bay Bar is that you're on it for quite a long time. It takes you at uh, five or six knots, it's going to take you probably three quarters of an hour to cross. So um, you are on the bar for a pretty long time. And this um, this leg towards Inskip Point's the longest one and probably the most uncomfortable. So we've got a lot of wave action coming in from the uh, port side of the boat now. And, just makes for a, an unpleasant uh, sort of trip. So we just come past uh, waypoint number three now. That's a port, sorry, that's a starboard lateral. And we're picking up the leads into uh, in skip point. So pretty soon we'll be in calm water inside Fraser Island, and that'll be fun. So just going around the last waypoint and um, just come up here and we're inside the Great Sandy Strait. So this is Fraser Island. This is the mainland. We come in through here. We can either go north to uh, Harvey Bay, but we're going to go south down to Tin Can Bay, catch up with some friends down there. Something to be aware of, that's uh, a buoy that measures the current here, and I don't think it's got a light on it, so if you're doing it at night, just be a little bit careful of that. It's um, just uh, west of the um, just to the west of the third waypoint as you're heading in. So uh, stick over the inskip point side to keep clear of it. Once you're across the bar, Pelican Bay is a great little anchorage just under Inskip Point. It's calm in most conditions and there's a lovely beach there where you can get off the boat and stretch your legs after the long trip from Morton Bay. 